what is up team ride on the reflections part two you know how it goes i'm going to share some learning from what i've experienced through my training for the past few weeks and share with you um hopefully some useful tips and tricks that you can use for your own training or cycling so let's get into it as you probably will see throughout my training i've trained in the rain hail cloudy conditions sunny conditions has all been really useful whilst it may suck to cycle in bad weather uh, it's great and i've seen some really good, interesting articles about it where it, it shows that it improves your bike control skills because you're more aware of how to brake deal with um steering in worse conditions and accelerate and it, it uh, gives you better awareness and i've definitely seen that because I started off the new bike for this series and having to understand not only the bike positions but also how to control myself safely um, and confidently in these scenarios is really important so I know I've seen people say they're fair with the cyclists only and whilst it's great on a science day to be on your bike it's really useful to train in um, all these scenarios I have to admit it sucks cycling into wind it's not fun and it makes you feel like you're really unfit and really slows you down uh, but it's a really good practice because um, especially at high speeds wind can really knock off your bike um, there been many scenarios I've been in during this training window where I've been going downhill and it's been windy and the crosswind has like maybe almost diagonal um, and to be able to understand how to shift your weight and transfer your body over the bike to make sure you still are stable and controllable is a really important skill so i'd recommend that online the marathon this training program has been a bit less social um, and that's because of other factors at play which i've not been able to train other people as often as i'd like to have done but when i have to train with other people it's been really good fun and uh, gives you a benchmark of what to expect or how you can improve looking at the technique what equipment they have and how to kind of push yourself faster but also having someone there to make the miles more enjoyable something to slipstream off definitely helps there's just so much evolution in the sport and it keeps changing and it's always nice to learn from people what you can do better and what's actually relevant in today's cycling world watch a great video from the global cycling network which gave me some really good advice on climbing uh, and I'd say the same thing again, it's just when you see a climb, um, sometimes it may look really shallow and it may make it up at the end, it may evolve or it might sort of really uh, uh, steep and kind of taper off or it could be steep the whole way or just a really long um, shallow gradient. There's so many variations on every road. So I think it's just be aware of what you're cycling onto. Some people have uh, cyclometers which show um, the gradient facing. Uh, me, I just kind of look at the hill and try and judge where things best. And I've looked at routes beforehand or gone to familiar routes where I got an idea of what to expect and give me a better idea of how to pace myself. Uh, not all the vic victory to hill comes at the beginning of the hill. It's about building the momentum up and keeping yourself kind of moving consistently up it. And alongside that, I say sustainably, it's not purely through pace. It's about or looking at your energy, also looking at different gears you could be in, which I found really useful. You can be in a slightly lower gear where you end up pedaling with a really high cadence or frequency. And you aren't necessarily moving as fast, but it keeps your momentum going. Or you could be in a really high gear where you're putting a lot more work in and get more resistance feedback to your legs, but it exhausts you quicker. So definitely look into that. Look into positioning, like getting on your legs rather than sitting on the seat, kind of leaning forward and backwards. Um, and trying different elements that work for you. Uh, yeah, so when it comes to climbs, just pace out sustainably for yourself. Look at your energy, look at all these different factors and uh, I'm sure you'll see some sort of benefits in the future. I know I have. And then the, I think the biggest thing for me with that, with climbs especially, is practice. The more you practice and the more you see um, different people do it and then we uh, try these techniques out 
better strategy you find for yourself. And that's something that's, I've seen as an evolution for my own riding uh, throughout this process. Hope you enjoyed the second ride London Reflections and let me know your thoughts on this series. I will be trying to get some better background at some point. <laughs> Record different areas for yourself. And yeah, take care and I'll speak to you soon. Peace.